Hey, first grade. I am so excited for this next project. For this project, you're going to be making a color wheel, but you're going to be making it out of little birds. You can make your birds have wings however you want and their legs however you want. I'm going to show you how I did this project. And yours does not have to look exactly like mine. You know, I tried to make use different kinds of lines for every single bird. But uh, you can make your legs however you want for your bird, okay? Um, here, I'm going to show you how I did this. First, I took a blank piece of paper. Now, if you don't have any just regular white paper at home, you could um, use lined paper from like a notebook for this and that would work too. Um, I found something that is a little circle for me to trace. Now if you have the bottom of a cup, that would work too. Or you know a toy that has a round bottom edge. Um, I just found this old lid that I'm going to use for mine. I wanted to make sure I could fit six circles on here. So I'm going to start up in the top corner. Now I don't want to touch the edge because then I don't have room to draw my details. So I'm going to come just a little bit away from it. Now, I'm gonna use a marker to trace, but I would recommend that you always use a pencil first. I just wanna make sure that you can see my circles um, after I do it. So I'm gonna hold it down, and if you need somebody to help you, hold it while you trace it, because it can be kinda of tricky to keep it from moving, okay? So there's one circle. I'm gonna move over a little bit, make my next circle. And one more circle up here. Okay. Now, here's the tricky part. I want to be able to make legs. So I can't make my next circle right below it because then my legs would run right into my bird. So I'm going to go over a little bit so that they're not exactly lined up and make my next circle. Leaving room for some legs to squeeze in there. And there. Again, it can be kind of tricky to trace and not have a loop. Alright. Now, for my birds, I added their beak by just making triangles. And I wanted to make it look like they're kind of all looking around, facing different directions. You can have yours face whatever direction you want. Maybe you want them all looking at each other. That would be fine too. I'm going to have one going this way. And let's see, I have a lot of room here. So I'm going to have one looking over that way. I'm going to have this guy looking down. This one looking up. And these two are going to be looking at the same thing. Then I just drew little circle eyes above their beaks. Okay. You can add their little wings inside. Okay, this one, maybe this one's turned. I only see part of it. Same with this guy. Here, I'm going to see both of his wings. I'm just making little V shapes to make the wings. Okay. Then I'm gonna add my different kinds of lines. And again, you can do yours however you want. They could all be the same or they could be different lines. I'm gonna make long straight lines here and then I just do three little dashes for little tiny bird toes. Okay, maybe here he's got really curly legs. Okay. This one, he's got bumpy little legs. Try to challenge yourself. Maybe you make up your own lines. And I 
love a good zigzag, so I'm gonna make a zigzag on here. I also added little tail feathers on the opposite end from where the beaks are. And I was done drawing my birds. Then you're just going to take either crayons or markers, color pencils, watercolor, whatever you want, and you're going to start making your color wheel go around. So red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. So then it just keeps repeating. For this one, if you want a challenge, you could use uh, color pencils or crayons and try to blend your colors to make the, the secondary colors with your primary colors instead of just coloring it with orange. And I'll show you how I did that because that's what I did for this one. I didn't use a purple, orange, or green crayon. I actually made those colors mixing my primaries. So I'll do one here. I'll do my orange bird. Now the trick is don't push hard with your crayons. If you push hard, then they're not gonna mix very well. So I'm gonna take my color and I'm gonna color really, really lightly. Now I always go along my edges. Oh, I'm gonna have to move over a little bit. I color really lightly. I'm staying in my lines, taking my time. Making that edge is going to help me stay in my lines. And then I'm going to try to color in the same direction. But look at how lightly I'm coloring. I'm trying to barely just get a little bit of red in that bird. I don't want to push too hard and get too much because then I won't be able to see the yellow and kind of make it look more orange. Okay. Then I'm going to take my yellow. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go along my edge. Can you see the difference between the edge and the inside? Hopefully it's starting to look more orange than just the red. Now with my lighter color, I'm pushing just a little bit harder. Okay. Now I'll show you here, this is just red on this bird, so you can see the difference. And then on my next one, this would be the yellow, right? So see the difference between the colors? So try mixing and blending to make your own secondary colors by using the primary colors to make them. That is a challenge for you. If you want, you could use something else to make your uh, color wheel. You don't have to blend your colors, but it's really fun to try. I hope you guys have fun making your adorable little birds. Have a great day, bye.